Hey everyone, welcome to Sustain the Industry, episode 8, January 2011. Yup, new year, new, a little bit of a new way of doing things for Sustain the Industry. Now, um, if you don't know what Sustain the Industry is, I'll link some videos that will explain it. Um, and so people don't get confused as to what the point of Sustain the Industry is. Um, in a nutshell, it's really um, to contribute uh, in any little way possible to the anime manga industries that are not doing so well and mainly it's to inform and educate people that you know uh, piracy is uh, you know it's it's hurting the industry and the industry itself is just hurting in general and it's it's to inspire to get people to little by little step by step get them to drift away from you know illegal downloading streaming scanlations uh, to drift away from that, you know, you know, to just spread, spread the positivity around to support the industry. Now, um, uh, from now on, the industry is gonna stay on my channel, um, on my YouTube, uh, unless I change things. But it's also gonna be associated with KeepAnimeAlive.com. And if you don't know about KeepAnimeAlive.com, go check it out right now. Um, and if you do stay in industry, you make videos. Um, Go on Keep Anime Live. They come register, and uh, you could uh, put your videos on there. Um, you're gonna you're gonna upload them on YouTube, uh, but on Keep Anime Live. They come. You can punch in your purchases, and it'll calculate the total for you. And then you link the URL for your video uh, to Keep Anime Live. That come, and so check it out. Keep Anime Live. That come is a really cool website uh, about supporting the industry and whatnot. And uh, sustaining the industry will be on there, as well as it's gonna stay on here. Um, and just, there's going to be some changes, and I'll make, like, a rules and regulations video, you know, uh, in a month or so. And, um, what else? You got to show receipts. Um, if you're going to put it, uh, you have to show receipts for what you bought, for what you punch in, uh, your purchases. Um, also, um, you, the shipping and handling, uh, totals n are no longer necessary. You can put them in your description of your videos. But um, you don't have to. Um, at the end of the year, when I calculate all the totals, I will include the shipping and handling totals from the previous months. But they are no longer necessary. You don't have to do them. You can do them. You can put them in if you'd like. But shipping and handling totals are not necessary anymore. So um, that's that. Also, um, this can be uploaded like the last day of January or so. Um, the deadline for January videos to get yours up will be the last day of February so uh, you know if you bought something the last day of January you have the whole month of February to um, for that your package to arrive if you bought it online and to like make a video blah 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 so um, that's that um, so I guess it's really all I have to say and on to the good stuff so what I bought this month I bought no manga again but I bought hell of, hell, hell of, hell of a Hell, a lot of a D of DVDs. So, um, first thing I bought uh, it was a really popular choice. I see a lot of people buying it, and a lot of people watch it, and it's like it's a classic series. And that is Yu Yu Hakusho. <sighs> yeah, uh, Yu Yu Hakusho. The thing about me and Yu Yu Hakusho is when I was a kid, I watched Dragon Ball Z a lot, right? And I watched it on Cartoon Network. And on Cartoon Network, Yu Yu Hakusho would play right before Dragon Ball Z. So whenever I would like rush and run to watch Dragon Ball Z, I would always catch like the last few minutes of Yu Yu Hakusho. And for some reason in my head when I was a kid, I had it I had it in there that, you know, Yu Yu Hakusho and Dragon Ball Z were always in competition. And because I preferred Dragon Ball Z, I started to not like Yu Yu Hakusho. I started to hate it just because just because I thought Dragon Ball Z was better. And uh, just because I thought they were like in competition and so um so in my head I had it that Yu Yu Hakusho was inferior and I and when I actually started watching anime I told myself I would never watch Yu Yu Hakusho for that reason and because it had like a hundred some episodes that I didn't feel like watching it but yeah but of course all those prior negative thoughts about Yu Yu Hakusho have been diminished and I can't wait to watch this I know I'm gonna like it um and yeah that's that Good shit, good shit. Uh, next thing I bought is a series that I've been meaning to buy for a long time and watch. And uh, 
really one of the reasons I, I went ahead and bought it was bec uh, this month was because uh, really a comment kind of a comment that someone left me saying that this series was in trouble and this series is the gray man now this is the first 26 episodes of the gray man now I didn't know what this person left a comment on the video saying what they meant uh, but I looked up on Wikipedia I looked up the gray man and uh, According to Wikipedia, now I know it's not the most reliable source, but yeah, according to Wikipedia, it said that the Gray Man was uh, only half of the series was dubbed, and there's like 103, 102 episodes, and only half of it is dubbed apparently, and uh, um, I don't know why, maybe funds, but um, I'm gonna buy th this. I got this, and then I'm gonna buy s complete season two, which is the next 26 or so episodes, right? So, um, hopefully, uh, you know, they dub it because I, I, I know I'm going to like the series. I already started watching it. Also, um, I'm going to be doing a first impressions video of The Gray Man, so look forward to that. Um, and I, I've, I've been waiting for, like, the price to go down, and it didn't go down, so I just bought it from Right Stuff this month. And yeah, I'm, I'm going to be doing first impressions. And if you like The Green Man, you watch it, go, please, go support it and buy it. Buy the manga, buy the DVDs, support it. Um, now, I also bought I bought something else off of Right Stuff, but I don't have it with me. Um, but I bought Kenichi, The Mightiest Disciple. And the reason I don't have it with me is because uh, it's back home. Um, they Right Stuff didn't have it in stock. And so it took a little bit of a long time to, uh, for it to arrive at my house. And it actually, the DVD actually arrived to my house a day after I left for college. So it's pretty kind of ironic. So I'm in college right now, don't have the DVD with me, but I have the receipt from Right Stuff to prove that I bought Kenichi, blah, 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 right? Um, and that was all I was going to buy for this month. But then, um, a few days into the into January like a, a week or so I was on I was on Amazon and I found this series was really cheap on Amazon and it was so cheap I had to buy it and it's from UX Juliet uh, both parts this is this is part two um part two cost 875 and part one cost 699 and I saw that and I just couldn't I couldn't, I could not, I could not just not buy it. I just went ahead and bought it so cheap. Um, you know, 24 episodes for like, what, 14, 14, $14, $16? Um, except that part one of this is at home. I left it at my house. Like a dumbass. Um, I brought this with me. I left part one home so I can't even I can't even start watching it because this is episodes 13, 13 to 24 and I don't have the first 12 with me so I can't even watch it yet so that was dumb of me but yeah but you know what I have the receipt to show for it so and you know you know English you know Shakespeare Shakespeare and anime come on that's like perfect for like an English major as myself so um, I actually can't wait to watch it um, but that's that, and that's all I bought. Um, quite like a hectic. I, I like pretty pretty satisfied with my haul, and now I'm gonna show the receipts. Now this is for Yu Yu Hakusho. If you can read it, Yu Yu Hakusho. And that cost me fifteen ninety nine. Hell yeah. Fifteen ninety nine for twenty twenty eight episodes. That's beast. Beast. All right, here's the Gray Man. The Gray Man and Kenichi. Now the Gray Man was what fifty two dollars, and that's I put the price for Kenichi. But yeah, see back back ordered. Also, by the way, Kenichi was one of the last anime I stopped watching illegally. Um, I got up to episode 15 or so in Kenichi, and that's when that's around the time I started sustaining industry. So I stopped watching Kenichi illegally, 
and now I finally bought it uh, so I can continue watching it. So yeah. Holy shit, this video is getting a little long. Alright, last receipt. This is for Romeo X Juliet. Uh, it's a little dark, I don't know if you can see. This is this is part one, this is part two. And then they go six ninety nine, eight seventy five. It's a little hard to see, but Romeo X Juliet. So yeah, that's all I bought. Um, I'm gonna buy more manga next month. I encourage you guys to go buy more manga, and you know, I'm probably gonna buy from Borders. So uh, you guys should buy from Borders since Borders needs a little bit of help from manga. So from manga sales, so go buy manga from Borders. Um, and yeah, this is the writer of Edward Elric. Um, hope you enjoyed. Keep sustaining the industry. Go to keepanimealive.com, register, check it out, blah, blah, blah. And same as always, what are you doing to sustain the industry? What are you doing to sustain the industry? What are you doing? What are you doing?